friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it is Monday so it is meal prep day. Heads up, before we jump into this week's meal prep, there will not be a meal prep up next Monday as I am heading to San Diego on Thursday to spend the weekend with my best friend. So I won't have a meal prep up because I don't come back until late in the day on Sunday. But this week's recipes are so good. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five days a week. Check out the description box down below where you'll find my recipe website. That is where today's recipes and all of my recipes are located. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. I highly, highly recommend both of these. Links, discounts to my my favorite things and of course my Facebook group come on over join us there we'd love to have you I am going to pop up my Instagram right here for you that's where you can see footage and keep up with me during my trip to San Diego and that way you don't miss out so let's jump in to this week's meal prep breakfast this morning I am making English muffin breakfast pizza who doesn't love pizza for breakfast and this is a much healthier protein packed version so let me show you what's in breakfast first you're going to need some all-purpose flour low-fat or fat-free milk salt and pepper Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles you can also use any type of ground turkey or turkey sausage just make sure if it's different than this one that you make sure the points are the same for the recipe you'll also need some eggs English muffins and light shredded cheese so the first thing we're going to do is crack four eggs into a bowl we're going to add salt pepper and a little bit of milk that will just make them a little bit more fluffy and we're going to scramble those up So we have our eggs all ready to go. We're just going to set those aside. We're adding one cup of the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles to a pan. We're going to allow those to warm through and crisp up a little bit. I went ahead and just added my sausage to the same bowl as my eggs to assemble the pizzas. Into the same skillet because it has a little bit of that sausage flavor in the pan, we're going to add 1 8 of a cup of flour. We're going to allow the flour to cook for about five to ten minutes or until it kind of turns a golden color that's how we know that the raw flour is cooked through then we are slowly going to add in our one cup of low-fat milk and stir we want to make this into a gravy for our pizzas and then we're just going to add some salt and pepper to season the gravy just keep stirring until all of the clumps are gone Now we need to go ahead and toast up our English muffins. So this recipe makes four breakfast pizzas, so we'll need four toasted English muffins. So now we're ready to assemble the pizza. So I have all my English muffins toasted. First thing we're going to do is put some gravy on the bottom of each English muffin. That's going to be the base for all of our toppings. hindsight I probably should have used a bigger pan but we're gonna make this work okay next up we're going to add some of the scrambled eggs and then we are going to top that with the sausage And lastly, one half of a cup of the light shredded cheese. Just put some cheese right on top. I have to say these look really good. They're giving me biscuits and gravy vibes. I'm really excited about it. These are going to go in the oven under broil just long enough for that cheese to melt and brown. Pizzas are out of the oven. These look so good. They smell 
really good. It smells like a breakfast house in here. So one serving is two halves. So this can be four servings or eight servings depending on how many points you want to spend, how many calories, how hungry you are. So I will go ahead and put the serving size and points for the four servings here on the screen for you. And this is pizza for breakfast. For my lunches this week, I am making pork carnitas bowls, but these are super, super easy because our pork is pre-cooked. Now you can throw your own pork roast in a crock pot, cook it up, shred it yourself, but I wanted to make my life easy this week. So I went ahead and picked mine up from Walmart, already pulled, cooked, and ready to go. So the only thing that we have to do is cook the rice and assemble the bowls. So let me show you what's in lunch. So this is the pork that I picked up. It's just your traditional pulled rotisserie pork. It's already cooked and ready to go. I did grab some home style salsa. You can add as many salsas, pico de gallos, whatever you want to this bowl. I am not a big spicy food person, so I just went ahead and picked up a mild salsa. We're going to make some jasmine rice. You could use brown rice, cauliflower rice, whatever your preference is. You'll need some queso, fresco, or the cheese you can crumble up, and then some guacamole cups or some avocado. I'm just using the guacamole cups from Costco because they're pre-portioned and they're really good. So the first thing we're going to do is make our rice. I am using my little dash rice maker. This thing is the best little invention ever. I bought it off of Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. So the recipe makes four carnitas bowls. I don't want a lot of rice. I really try to limit, as you guys know, my carbs and rice is just something that's just a carbohydrate and not something that I need a lot of, but I still want some rice in my bowl. So I'm going to do one cup of uncooked rice, which will end up being two cups total, which is about a half of a cup of rice per bowl. And then we're adding two cups of water. Pop your lid on, turn it on, and it will tell you when it is cooked to perfection. Perfectly cooked rice every single time. I absolutely love this rice maker. Again, I'll link it down below. So we are ready to start assembling our bowl. So I do have my food scale so that I can weigh out my cheese and also weigh out my pork. So I'm going to start with one half of a cup of the cooked rice per bowl. We're going to put in two ounces of the pulled pork per bowl. So I'm just going to weigh that out here on my food scale. So there's the rice and the pork. I have three ounces total of the crumbled cheese. So it's going to be just under an ounce per bowl. And I'm going to stop assembling my bowl there because everything else would be put on cold. That way I'm able to warm my bowls up with the pork and the rice. I am going to add an avocado cup. And for me, avocado is our zero points. And this is zero points. There is no added oil in this one. This is the holy guacamole just mashed avocado. And then of course, I'm going to add some zero point salsa. And that's going to be my easy pork carnita bowl. So I'm going to put together the other three bowls so that they're ready to go for the week. So here are the bowls. So again, the rice, the pork, and the cheese. That way I could pop this in a mi the microwave. You could eat it cold if you wanted to. And then I'll add my avocado and my salsa each day. So I'll go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. For a sweet treat this week, I am making a protein packed Parfait. I get a lot of questions on how I get my protein in every single day. These are my favorite types of dessert. Something that's sweet, but also is packed with protein. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need sliced almonds, protein granola. This is the Nature Valley Oats and Honey. You can also use the Kashi Go Lean Crunch cereal. Just make sure that whatever crunchy topping you're adding has some protein. 0% non-fat Greek yogurt, 
honey, a fresh orange, and then I have mandarin orange, no sugar added cups. I'm going to drain those and add mandarin oranges. You could actually also add fresh orange segments, whatever your preference is. And then of course you're going to need some fresh raspberries. So the first thing we're going to do is toast up our almonds. So I have a quarter cup of sliced almonds. I'm just going to toast them on the stove for just a couple of minutes. That will make them crispy and bring out all of the flavor. Next, we're going to make the yogurt mixture. So I have three cups of the Fa A 0% non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm going to add one third cup of honey. And then we're going to zest some orange. Mix that together really well. I went ahead and decided to zest that whole orange. That way I have lots of yummy fresh orange flavor because this is a lot of yogurt. So for the parfaits, we have our yogurt. We have fresh raspberries. I did go ahead and drain the mandarin orange cups. And then I have toasted almonds. And of course my protein granola. Now I am going to go ahead and assemble one parfait so I can show you what the finished product looks like. My recommendation would be to go ahead and assemble the yogurt and fruit, and then right before you actually eat the parfait, add your almonds and your granola so that they stay crunchy. So I have a mason jar here, and I'm going to go ahead and add some of the yogurt. Again, we're making four parfaits total, so we want the yogurt to be evenly dispersed between the four parfaits. So I have a layer of yogurt, and then I'm going to add a layer of raspberries, and oranges, and then repeat with another layer of the yogurt, raspberries, and oranges. And then we're going to top it with one tablespoon of the protein granola and one quarter of the toasted almonds. And there's what it looks like. It looks absolutely delicious. And again, like I said, I'd recommend that you go ahead and do the yogurt and the fruit and then skip adding the almonds and the granola until right before you eat it. So here is the finished parfait. This looks so good. I love that there's lots of protein in here, fruit for good fiber, some crunch from those toasted almonds and the granola. This is a great breakfast option and a great sweet treat option. So I'll go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. joining me for another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to eat them all week. Spoiler alert, I ate the little granola parfait today and it was so incredibly delicious. I love the sweetness of the honey and the yogurt with the tang of the orange zest. It was so good. So highly recommend. And don't forget to take a look at the description box for my recipe website, nutrition coaching, and links and discounts to my favorite things. And follow me over on Instagram to keep up with me more day to day and see clips and things of my trip to San Diego. And of course, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.